Yeah. Yes, they'll do one thing today. I'll take that example again. <clears throat> yes, today tight notion. Okay, so I'll take me to make the Spring first application. How the Spring container will create the object internally. How the Spring container will create the objects. See, so, yes, up to core Java, we are creating objects, right? So at least today, try to complete the practical set example, guys. So in the core Java programming, so core Java, core Java programming. So we are creating object. We are creating an object uh, using which operator, guys? Here, we are creating object using which operator here? New operator, right? Exactly. Yep. In core Java programming, we are creating object using which operator means simply new operator, right? Exactly. For example, employee equal to what? New employee. We are creating object. Right? Otherwise, student s equal to what? New student. We are creating object, right? Exactly. Okay, so in the Spring framework, the Spring framework, who is responsible to create the object here? In the Spring framework, the container, guys. The IOC container, inversion of control. In Spring Framework, the uh, the Spring Container, guys. In Spring Framework, who is responsible to create the object? In Spring Framework, the Spring Container, the Spring Container will will create the will create the object, right? Exactly. Sir, how the Spring Container is creating objects? Okay. So to understand this point, guys. Yes. Yeah, in Spring Framework, who will create the object, guys? Yes, in Spring Container, who will create the object means in Spring Framework, the Spring Container will create the object, guys. So how to create the objects means we'll go for the step by step process, guys. Total, we have to take care of the four steps. Step one, two, three, four. Total four steps are there, guys. <coughs> what is the first step? Tell me here. Yes, today we will see like ultimately how the Spring Container is creating object. We have to see like practically with lazy instantiation and Hmm. Eager instantiation, guys. With lazy instantiation and eager instantiation that we will see today. Hmm. Good. Guess step one, see. Uh, first of all, create the bean classes. Guess normal core Java classes in the Spring terminal, see, we are calling it as a Spring bean classes, guys. Create the bean classes first step. Okay. Create the bean classes. After creation of bean classes, so configure the bean classes. Yeah. Config configure the. <coughs> Configure the bean classes using uh, bean XML XML file, guys. Configure the bean classes using what XML file? H. Exactly. Just create the bean classes and configure the bean classes using what? Uh, configure the bean classes using what XML file? H. Exactly. Because once if we configure the bean classes using XML file, then we have to start the container. To start the container, we require some uh, predefined class, guys. Yes. To start the container, we require some predefined class. To use that classes, first of all, build for the build for the Spring jar files. Yes, build for the Spring jar files, right? Exactly. Then we have to write the client code. Client code, client code. Start the container and access objects, right? Hmm. Start the container. Yeah, start the container. Uh, access the object, guys. Access the access the object. Okay, so how many steps you have to follow total here? Total four steps, guys. First of all, create the bean classes. Second step is what to configure the bean classes using XML file. Build part the Spring jar files. Build part the Spring jar files. Then client code. Yeah, client code, client code. Uh, client code start the container and access the object, right? Access the objects, guys. Good. The first step is like create the bean classes, right? Exactly. Guys, to do this, uh, to do this, you can go for Eclipse ID. In Eclipse ID, yesterday I create the bean classes. Anyhow. For my satisfaction and your satisfaction. Today, let me write the same example again. Go to the file menu. File menu, click on new. Because let me create the normal core job project because we are discussing Spring Core module, guys. Hmm? Spring Core module. You can take the normal Java project. Go to the file menu, click on Java project. Just click on what a Java project. Then give like a project name. Hmm. Guys, give like the project name. The project name is like you know my project. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yesterday the class is recorded. If I share the recorded session, that will be good actually. But yesterday, unfortunately, the class is not recorded. That's what today I'm taking that example. But I'll take some extra information also. Okay. 
I will take some extra information also with you. So, okay. Yeah. Let's give the project name. So Spring Core example examples. Spring Core water. Mm, Spring Core examples. You can create the project, guys. So click on finish. The Spring Core examples. The project is created. Spring Core example. The project is created. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Guys, here can you please create the bean classes first. So right click here. Right click, right click, right click. Let me create the package. So new, I want to create the class guys. The class name is like give the package name first of all. Com dot dot com dot dot beans package guys. Then you can take the employee class. Employee class. So click on finish. Click on finish. <coughs> employee class. Click on finish. So then employee dot job file is ready. Yesterday class and employee class. What I written? Just I let me copy that data. Just I take in one constructor and uh, just to see the code, guys. Employee dot job file. Hmm? Employee dot job file. I think I added some extra information. Leave it. SRC com dot beans employee class can be just one constructor one method guys this is my employee class I defined employee class can is one constructor and what one method right exactly the same way you can copy the student class if you copy the student class now the student class also contains one constructor and hmm, one constructor and what see guys one constructor is there zero argument constructor one method is there right student info method is there Yes, total. How many bean classes I created total here? Method. Yes, please respond. How many bean classes I'm creating total? I'm creating two bean classes, right? Yeah. Just I'm creating two bean classes, guys. So this is like EMP dot Java file. So this is my code here. So next step is what, guys? Student dot Java file. In the student dot Java file. This is my bean class. I'm declaring one zero argument constructor. I'm declaring one method, right? That's it. There's one zero argument constructor and what one method I defined, right? Exactly. Guys, the bean class are ready. Two classes are ready. Normal core Java classes I'm taking. Two classes are ready. Exactly. Guys, actually, how the Spring container will create object of these classes means uh, we have to configure these classes in the configuration file, guys. Guys, we have to configure this file in what Spring configuration file. The second step is what to configure the bean classes uh, using. Uh, uh, configure the bean classes in spring configuration file guys actually generally they'll take like application context.xml guys the configuration file name xml context application context.xml and it is uh, it is possible to take any file name guys it's not a problem because it is possible to take what uh, any tell me guys it is possible to take what any 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 xml file name hmm? any name you can use it's not a problem Okay, good. Sir, where I have to create this XML, sir? Under the SRC folder, guys. Under under the SRC folder, right click on SRC folder. Guys, which one here? Right click on SRC folder. Take the normal, take the normal file. Take the normal file, guys. Save with the uh, hmm, take the normal file, save with what dot uh, XML extension. Guys, save it to a dot XML extension, right? Exactly. Guys, come to the application here. Guys, first you take the bean classes, guys. Take the bean classes. The bean classes, just you can go for the SRC file and right click on SRC. New. Hmm, right click on SRC. New. I want to create the normal file. Guys, right click on SRC. New. Normal file you have to take. The file name, can I take the beans.xml file, right? Observe carefully, guys. Beans.xml file I'm taking now. In the beans.xml file, this is my beans.xml file, right? Exactly. Guys, see for the XSD validations. So you can take this uh, configurations for that. So like beans.xml file. Next day class we done this code. Yeah. Guys, let me configure the bean classes in front of you. Okay. To configure the beans, guys, the root tag is like beans tag is there. This is for the XML validation data. XML validation data. 
the beans tag contains the bean tag guys the beans is the root tag under the beans we can take the bean tag first you can take the bean id guys bean id is nothing but reference variable guys okay bean id then you have to take the bean class bean class means what complete name we have to give com dot tcs dot tell me guys com dot tcs dot what com dot tcs dot yeah. uh, beans dot emp class hmm? this is like configuring which bean guys here yeah? configuring like employee class employee bean class in the same way can you please configure one more class what is the one more class guys here yeah? student uh, student class right exactly guys then you can take the bean bean id equal to um, bean id equal to what guys next we can take like bean id equal to what uh, student then com dot student com dot dcs dot beans dot what uh, student right exactly guys class name is like capital e reference variable i'm taking like small emp right class name is like student so reference variable is like what a normal student i taken right exactly because i think we done with the second step what the second step tell me now first step is like we created the bean classes first okay. the bean classes second step is what we configured the bean class in the spring configuration file right yes yes sir no yes sir yes sir so i click on src new take the normal file save the file with extension like .xml extension right save with the .xml extension guys step 2 is come step 2 is completed guys and if you go for the step 3 actually i have to start the container okay, to start the container to start the container we required some predefined classes guys okay, to start the container we required some predefined classes right definitely those predefined classes are belongs to the jar file guys to start the client code to start the container we need we need some predefined predefined classes so uh, download the jar file we need some predefined classes guys so what we have to do so hmm, download the download what jar files and build path the jar files you build path the jar files Yes, once if we build part the jar files so that I can use that predefined classes, right? Guys, to start the container, we need the predefined classes. So download the jar file, build part the jar files, right? Exactly. Okay, yes or no? Hmm? Download the jar file and what? Build part the jar file, right? Exactly. Guess to do that, uh, download the jar file, build part the jar file. Just you can go to this one. Uh, just you can go to the Google. Ask like Spring Jars download. Guys, which one here? Spring Jars Jars download. Guys, if you go for the Spring Jar files download here, Spring Jar files download, guys. Yes, we'll go for report dot report dot spring dot io website repository dot spring dot io yes repository dot what spring dot repository dot spring dot io right exactly yes click on this uh, click on this once if you click on this jfrog website will be open this is a website guys jfrog so yeah this is a website we have to open guys in this uh, it's showing like number of versions of the spring the present version of spring is like 5.x version guys if the starting version of spring is what 1.0 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 present version of spring is what guys 5.0 so what are the futures are there in the 4.x 2.x 5.x that i'll tell you later because initial classes first of all you don't know what is the spring right even if i discuss the futures also is there any use there is no use right that's what guys <clears throat> let me start the applications the meanwhile you can go with the theory hmm? exactly yes in my system simply let me go for the 5.2.0 releases the right yeah go for the 5.2.01 guys in the 5.2.0 this is the this is the data guys in this website click on 5.2.0 release in this please download like dist.zip file guys this is my zip file right just you can copy this download this file guys hmm? good guys once if you download this zip file so 
basically this zip file is seems to be like this in downloads folder yesterday itself i downloaded here yeah this is a zip file you can see spring 5.0.2 5.2.0 release this is there right exactly let's extract this folder guys hmm? extract the zip file so download the zip file here hmm. download the zip file and extract the uh, tell me guys extract extract the extract the zip file right exactly just download the zip file and extract the zip file guess once if you extract the zip file you will get like proprietary something like club folder guys yeah proprietary proprietary file you'll get because uh, clear in this one you can go for libs folder because once if you done the extracted yeah extra zip file you'll get this location guys see users return downloads in the downloads once if you extract this zip file proprietary file you'll get uh, here libs file libs folder we have to open guys the above lib folder contains all jar files spring required jar file so build path that jar files guys build path that jar files right exactly sir how do guys bean configurations are clear everyone creation of bean class and bean configurations are clearer yes sir guys creation of bean class and the bean.xml file is clearer under the SRC folder, I'm yes, creating bean.xml file, right? Yeah. Right click on the project, guys. Build path. Right click on the project. Build path. Hmm. Tell me, guys, how to do. Right click on the project. Build path. Configure build path. We have to do. Hmm? Configure build path, guys. So go for the libraries. Click on add external jars. Guys, basically, these jar files you will do with the Maven actually go for that location guys in downloads folder proprietary libs is there select this all jar file click on open this all jar files will come here click on okay guys are it clear now guys to start the container we need some predefined classes so download the jar file download the jar file build part the jar files right build part the jar file guys Guys, build path is clear. Huh? How to build path the jar file, guys? Here, yeah? right click on. Guys, right click on what? Right click on project. Right click on the project. Build path. Build path. What you can do? Uh, configure build path. Build ah. path. Configure build path. Add external jars. Select all jars, right? Select jars. Yes or no, guys? There's a build path option is done. Guys, build path is clear. Huh? Guys, in the core Java, we are creating object using new keyword. In the Spring container, in the Spring framework, Spring container is responsible to create the objects. How the Spring container will create the objects? First of all, we can create the bean classes. Definitely, I create the bean classes. I configured the bean classes in the. See, slowly I increase the complexity, guys. Auto wire component component scan annotations huh? <clears throat> slowly will increase the complexity but to understand that example first example is very very important yes sir no guys this example only will do some modification right extension of this example that's what guys first example is very very important how to create the bean classes how to configure the bean classes how to build apart the jar files at last is what is client code guys are you clear now what the step number four tell me guys here client code hmm. client code uh, start the container start the container access the tell me guys start the container and what access the objects right exactly guys are you clear now start the container and access the objects guys good guys to create the client code in src folder let me create the new class hmm? new class so give the package name like you know new package guys that is like client package in the client package can i take the test client right test client click on main method click on finish this is my client code guys is it clear now good yes here start the spring container spring container 
Okay, starting the spring contain is nothing but creating object of one small class. I will tell you what is that class. Creating object of a particular class, guys. When you start the container, then what happens? You know, the container is instantiate and initialize the bean objects. Container, yeah, container instantiate and initialize the initialize the bean object, right? Exactly. Guys, okay, start the spring container, container instantiate and initialize the bean objects, right? Sir, how to start the container, sir? Spring container, sir. Guys, to start the spring container, application context class required. Application context interface. Guys, see, this is belongs to org dot spring framework dot context, right? Assume like if you didn't build up the jar file, can we get this data? Guys, assume like if you didn't build up the data, can we get this support now? No, sir. Guys, please respond. If you are not build path the data, can we get this three points of work? No, sir. That's what first we can do the build path operation. Okay. Good. Because application context, hmm, application context, context equal to new uh, class path. Because hmm, new class path uh, XML, yeah, application context. Then here, simply can give the configuration file name. Guys, see the magic guys in Java Spring Framework. When this line is there, only one line. We are creating object of application context context equal to new XML path application XML new class path XML application context. When you create this one, guys, when you create the object this class, the Spring container will, will this line will start the Spring container, and Spring container goes to beans.xml file. In the beans.xml file, how many beans you configured, the spring container will create the objects and initialize the objects, guys. Create, initiate, and initialize the object. Only this line, guys, this very small line will start the container. It goes to beans.xml file configuration file. Then it will learn how many beans you configured here. How many beans you configured here? This all bean objects are created. Yes, sir. No, guys. It's a very, very important line. Sir, you are saying this line means it will start the spring container. It will start the spring container. It's a process, guys. It will start the process. It will start the spring container. It will, the spring container goes to beans.xml file. In the beans.xml file, how many how many beans you configured? These all bean objects are created, guys. These bean bean objects will be created, right? That's what they see. If really bean objects are created, the student class and the employee class contains zero argument constructor, right? This constructor is executed or not executed? Guys, please respond. If really contain restarted, really contain is go to the bean.xml file, really contain is creating objects means that constructor is executed or not executed? Executed. Huh? Execute. Guys, please respond. Container after creation of object, oh. container creating the object is executed. Exactly. Because if I run the code, those constructors are executed means so that we can decide that the spring container goes to bean start bean configuration file. In the bean configuration file, it is all creating objects of these all the classes or not. Simply can run this code, guys. See the magic. Spring is everything is magic, guys. See output here. Employee constructor and student construct executed or not executed here? Guys, employee constructor, student constructor executed or not executed? Executed, right? Exactly. It it says that what? What it is saying is this line, uh, hmm. guys, this line will start the spring container or not? Guys, the step one, the first point, uh, the above line, guys, this is a line. Uh, the above line, Hmm. We'll start the spring container. Hmm. Then it goes to uh, goes to uh, bean spring configuration file, guys. It goes to uh, moves to then goes to then goes to which file, guys? Here spring configuration file. Uh, in spring configuration file, <coughs> it goes to then goes to spring configuration file, guys. It goes to spring configuration file. Instantiate and uh, instantiate and uh, initialize the 
let's instantiate and initialize the uh, beans configured in guys the above line will start the spring container then container goes to tell me guys then container then container goes to spring configuration file hmm, configuration file instantiate and initialize the beans uh, configured in hmm, configured in what configuration file right exactly guys this is the proof or not hmm? guys tell me exactly guys in this case okay. constructors executed means what definitely we got the proof like uh, constructors executed constructor executed means we got the proof like objects are created not created hmm? guys are we creating the bean objects now are we creating bean objects definitely no right guys are we creating bean objects means definitely no hmm? good guys guys see here when you start the container itself when you start the container itself the bean objects are created when you requested the bean object is created guys uh, when we start the container bean objects are created then are you requested the bean objects we are as of now we are not requested right we are not accessing the bean objects right guys here what we are doing just uh, creating object we are just we are creating we are starting the container right hmm? exactly yes sir. start the container guys once the start the container bean objects are ready then the second step is what guys access the beans access the bean object guys to access the bean objects here context dot the method name is called get bean method is there context dot get bean method we have to use context dot get bean what is the bean reference here this is a bean reference guys id is nothing but reference guys id is nothing but reference right what is the reference guys now emp is the bean reference give like here reference is like emp then here you can take the employee e guys then here you can take the employee e guys please mute please mute you can type cast here add to type cast to employee you can type cast here good then if really employee update is getting e dot employee info method is there like that you have to access the data guys that's it because next one you can see context dot uh, get bean method we have to use what the second bean guys here i think student bean we have to use guys yeah, student bean we have to use the student bean we have to use then it returns which object guys no student object student yes is there right that's it because when you get in the bean object we have to type cast to bean object we have to type cast to be an object s yes, dot what student info we have to call guys s yes, dot what yeah s yes, dot s yes, dot which method guys here the student class contains student student info method right student student class here type casting yeah s yes, dot what method guys here mm, why this method is not showing now com dot beans dot student class student any spelling mistake guys the bean configuration file uh, yeah bean configuration file spelling is correct huh? com dot tcs dot beans dot student here student is the bean id okay fine so then you can call like um, the bean data then here tell me then you can take the student uh, the student right it's fine then you can call like you know student dot student dot what the method is yeah i think uh, this method is not public method guys that's why scope is not visible that is very core job mistake now student info is coming right that's it yeah. yes sir no public <laughs> public modifier right there is no public means default modifier is there default permission is only within the package but this is the client package right exactly guys are it clear now hmm? this is the information guys this is the information hmm? good because now we can run this code guys see first of all just before this one can you make some stars here what happened guys this line itself creating object after object creation these lines are what access the objects access the bean objects from container right 
exactly yes yes or no hmm just you can run this code guys yes. see the output see the magic here first before this stars here itself objects are created or not before getting the beans only before getting the beans object created when you get the bean object is created before getting the beans only object is created right this is called when you start the container the container is creating object of all bean classes that is called eager instantiation before we requesting after that what we are getting the bean object we are calling the specific methods right so hi employees how was the weekend party and hi students good morning right exactly hi students we got a good morning message is it clear now this is the client code guys is it clear now exactly this is a client code guys first step is like step 1 in above line we'll start the container second step is what guys get the bean get the bean bean objects using which method guys here get bean method right get bean method guys only two steps guys first of all start the container when you start the container bean objects are ready because this uh, the bean container goes to spring configuration file instantiate initialize the beans configured in configuration file then once the once the beans are ready then what you can do you can use the get bean method to get the data right guys you can call the get bean method you can get the data right exactly guys all the four steps are clear huh? today don't postpone the practicals guys today itself you can complete the practicals please okay first step is create the bean classes second step is like configure the bean classes in what bean configuration file hmm configure the bean class in bean configuration file third step is like build path the jar files build path the jars because to start the client code we required some predefined classes right once if we build path then only we will get the predefined support okay then how many steps guys just two steps guys first of all start the container get the beans only two steps you have to follow guys how many steps in the client code mainly have the two step we have the two steps what the two steps guys step one is like hmm step one is what start the container guys start the container second step is what to get the bean objects okay client code is very clear so only two steps you can find start the container and get the bean objects right exactly guys see some observation i can do some exceptions i will show clearly observations mm, observations observations number one first observation guys okay, so actually in the client code we are getting the bean object using bean ids right the ids which are configured in the bean configuration file yes sir no guys assume like let me give the bean id is wrong employee 123 while getting the bean guys if the bean id is wrong then see the exception what is the exception guys yes objects are created because this line objects are created but while getting the bean if you give the bean name is wrong you will get this exception okay exactly you guys see here while getting the bean if you give the hmm, guys while reading the beans while reading while reading the reading the bean object bean object uh, if we give if we give uh, what you can say guys if we give wrong name as if you give what wrong id wrong id we will get exception we will get the wrong we will get the exception right exactly as read that exception here get bean of emp123 but emp123 reference bean is available not available guys 123 bean reference is available not available not available sir. then what is the error we are getting no such no bean such definition bean. exception right no such bean definition exception no bean name would like what emp123 no such bean definition exception guys is it clear about this first error exactly yes sir guys can i take one more small point in the client code 
guys in the client code observe carefully if you are not interested to do the type casting if you are not interested to the type casting definitely we have another option is there what is option you know just you can give like get bin of emp comma emp comma give that dot class file name emp dot class guys while getting the get bin method if you are not interested to type casting if you are not interested to type casting we can specify the class here itself then type casting is not required then here student dot class is there you can see in the both cases i am doing any type conversion process here Hmm? Guys, either no, you can, either you can do the type conversion process here. It's not a problem. If you are not interested to the type conversion process, then you can go for the EMP class. You have to mention the class from here. Then simply can run this code. Definitely will get the output. Before when before before stars objects are created, this is like string content restarting code. Then here we are getting some data, right? Hi employees, how was the weekend party? Hi students, good morning messages. Guys, this is the client code. In above example, this is the client code by type conversion, right? Guys, this is a client code um, performing type conversion process. Okay, this is a case one, guys. Case two, we can see this is the client code. Hmm. Client code type conversion required not required guys without not without type conversion guys client code without type conversion right exactly which one you feel comfortable you can take that one application level which one is recommended means definitely without type conversion only recommended guys without type conversion only recommended. Hmm? You want me to show why it is not recommended? Then you can check the second exception. Guys, everyone is able to follow, right? Guys, please respond. Everyone is able to follow or not? Yes, sir. Hmm? Ashok, Guru, Madhav, Prakash, Santosh. Yes, sir. We are following. Hmm? Today I will share this uh, video, guys. You try. Today to I will share this. Uh, I'll check the check the video and uh, try to do the practicals. Okay. Don't postpone the practicals. Spring all about the when we are doing the practical, you get the more interest. If you are not doing the practicals, definitely you will never understand what the spring examples, how it is going and process. That's what. Please don't postpone the practicals. Try to do the practicals on the day basis. Okay. Good. Guys, can I take one more small point? One more exception, or we will see tomorrow. Sir, Rapan, sir. Tell me, yeah. Hello. Sir, today actually my first class is sir. Ashok, I think you already joined, right? Previously? No. No, no, I am not joining. Today I am joining first class. Okay, fine. See, today just a couple of demo first class is done. This is the second class itself. First class I taken some yes. theory. Today second class. After this class, you will share the both record session to your mail ID so that you can check the record session. Okay. Then come for the tomorrow. Class. Okay. Thank. You. Okay. Guys, can I take some more point? I'll stop the class. What do you say? Can I take one more point? Yeah. Guys, see here. For example, if I do in the type conversion process here. Can I take the type conversion process? I think this is working fine. Observe carefully, guys. I'll show the exceptions. Okay, this everything is working fine. But see, guys, while doing the type conversion here, I'm trying to read the student here. Yes, I'm trying to read what to type student. I given which of which bean object, guys, student bean object. But you are trying to type cast which format? Guys, we are trying to type cast which format? Employee format, right? We are trying to get the student object. We are trying to get the student bin, but you are typecasting which format, guys? Employee format. Is the type conversion is possible or not possible, guys? Guys, please respond. We are getting which bin, man? Student object, right? 
but i am converting which format employee format is that type conversion is possible not possible not possible guys is it type conversion is possible or not possible type not possible right exactly guys this case you can see the exception guys this case you can see the exception see guys the class cast exception see guys the class cast exception please mute please mute please mute please mute santosh yeah guys see this error message guys second error here the second error is what uh, so we are trying to get the student object guys we are we are we are we are trying to get the student bin guys you are trying to get the student bin but uh, converting which format guys converting emp format so conversion is possible or not possible but converting employee converting employee format converting employee, converting employee format the conversion is uh, not possible so we will get which exception guys here class cast exception i hope you clear about this line right exception in thread main java dot lang dot class cast exception student cannot be casted to employee Guys, are it clear now? Good. Guys, but tell me here. In this case, are we getting like a class cast exception is a core Java exception, Spring related exception? Guys, are we getting like class cast exception, Spring related? Yes, are we getting like class cast exception, Spring related? Class cast exception, core Java related exception, Spring related exception, core Java related exception, Spring related. Core Java, core Java. Hmm, core Java related exception, right? But tell me again, this core Java related exception, right? But can I get in the spring? Is mute. Yeah. But showing like core Java related exception is recommended. Spring related exception recommended, guys. Guys, showing like core Java related exception is recommended. Spring showing like core Java related exception is recommended. Spring spring related exception. Yeah, spring related exception is recommended. Right. Like what, guys? Without yes. type conversion. Without doing type conversion, second approach is there, right? What is second approach? Tell me. Class hmm. name. Is what? Student uh, class, class, class name is mentioning, right? Guess yes, or no? Assume like EMP dot class you are mentioning here. Guess are you clear? This is a second approach, right? What the second approach here? Without type conversion, you are making like EMP dot class. Guys, but I am trying to get which which of which bin? I am trying to get the student bin. But we are taking which format? Uh, employee format. Previously also, you are trying to get the student bin. You are converting which format? Uh, employee format. You will get the class class exception. Now also, I am trying to get the student bin. Uh, but I am taking which class guys now? Guys, now I am getting which class? Uh? Employee class. Ah, uh, employee class. Guys, both the cases process is same. What is the process? I am trying to get the student bin. Uh, but i am taking which format employee format i saw no guys both cases i am trying to get the student bin but i am trying to do type conversion of employee format otherwise taking like employee dot class format now now we can see the exception guys now see the exception now you are getting like class cast exception spring related exception be not required type exception is expected to be related uh, exactly now see the message base here now we got the spring related exception right spring related exception right yes sir. now tell me now type conversion process is recommended uh, normal representing the dark class format represent uh, recommended uh. guys dark class file recommended First case is like different exception, guys. If you are giving the bean ID is wrong, you will get the bean no such bean definition exception. And second case is what we are trying to get the student bean, we are converting to employee format. Here conversion is not possible, get the class cast exception. Okay. In the same way, here also we are what we are doing, we are trying to get the student bean, but we are representing which class guys here? Employee format. Guys, third case also what we are doing here. Uh, we are trying to get the student bin only, but you are converting which format, guys? Your employee format. Yes, yes, no, guys. You are converting employee format or not? 
so conversion is possible or possible guys so conversion is uh, not possible not possible uh, we will get what uh, we will get uh, we will get what class class x plus spring, spring related ah uh, spring related x spring related exception right now you tell me guys while while retrying the bean uh, while retrying the bean uh, representing casting is recommended uh, representing dot class is recommended uh, dot class will recommend it mm. guys everyone is got the clarity right yes sir guys both cases this case also i am trying to get which bean i am trying to get the student bean but converting which format to student employee format not possible here also i am trying to get the student bean only but i am trying to make it which class guys i am trying to make it is employee class also not possible not possible right exactly not possible but in the type conversion we will get the class cast exception but employee class dot class this representation you will get the class cast exception spring related uh, been spring related type exception right exactly that's yes guys that's what client code always recommend to make the type conversion processor recommend to make the dot class representation dot class file representation exactly exactly i think these three errors are very clear right everyone Yes, sir. Any questions, please? Yes, hmm? I think yesterday class also I take no. one, but yesterday class was not recorded. That's what I'm taking yesterday class, and I'm giving some extra point also. I'm clearly documented everything, right? This is like type conversion process okay. client code. This is like type conversion process client code, sir. Sir, yesterday class. Uh... Class notes is available or not, sir? Today class notes are same thing, right? Yesterday only. This one only, right? Yesterday class notes also. What are the things I written here? Also? Okay, okay. What are the things I think? Okay. Right? Okay. Sir, configuration. Sir, 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 configuration. Hello. Tell me, yeah. What's your doubt? Tell me, yeah. What's your doubt? Yeah, actually, I missed yesterday's class. Yesterday's class. But uh, my doubt is, uh, you are running in the Eclipse, right? Hmm. So for that to uh, hmm. uh, just uh, are you manually copying or uh, we are manually copying automatically you are yeah, manually copying build part option. Okay, could you please show me that once? We you followed the third step. We you followed the third step, right? Yes. Please mute first yourself, Madhuri. Please mute first yourself, Madhuri. If possible, you try to use the earphones. Otherwise, uh, it's a very disturbing because uh, I'm 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 everyone listening the same voice again multiple times. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, See, so the third step just we now build part the jar files, right? This is the build part the jar files. To start the container, require some predefined classes. So download the jar file, build part the jar file. I said clearly this is like uh, location of the jar files. Okay. Spring 5.2.0 release is there. You try to download the dist zip file, extract the zip file. Once if you extract the zip file, you will get this lips folder. Lips folder, whatever the jars are there. Lips folder, whatever the jars. They are the lips folder. Okay, this PC, you can go for the downloads. In the downloads, like you know, this is the jar file. This is the zip file. Once if you extract the zip file, once if you extract the zip file. Guys, once if you extract the zip file. At last, you will see like proprietary class. This one, this folder will get that. Here, libc is there. Here, the spring jars are there. These jar files we have to build part. Guys, these jar files we have to build part. How to build part? Man, right click on the project. Build part is there. Build part is there. Configure build part is there. Build path configure build path. Libraries in the libraries add external jars. Go to the location of the jars. You select the jar files here. You select the jar files. Click on open. Select all jar files. Click on open. Right. That's it. Are you clear, man? Sir, will you cover Spring ORM module? Ah, oh, definitely right. The Spring Core ORM, AOP, JDBC, Spring annotations, Java-based configuration, XML configuration. Slowly we'll move forward. Okay, sir. Sir, I don't have any yesterday class notes. Yesterday class again today I taken the class same notes same notes is there here so, and even yesterday class notes yesterday some theory. Theory. Hmm? yesterday class some theory is available so I don't have theory 
क्लास में कोटक टेट टेस्ट डॉट कॉम स्लैश स्प्रिंग सिक्स पीएम राइट योर क्लास नोट्स लिंक स्प्रिंग सिक्स पीएम ओके ओके सर थैंक यू दिस इज़ द जावा पासवर्ड दिस इज़ लाइक डे थ्री एस्टरडे क्लास नोट्स आई क्लियर इज़ देर हियर राइट एक्सेक्टली ओके ओके सर एंड टुडे डे फोर आल्सो आई मेक सेम नोट्स ऑलमोस्ट बट इफ यू वांट रेफरेंस पर्पस यू कैन चेक द बोथ नोट्स एंड ट्राई टू कंप्लीट द प्रैक्टिकल्स and today class is definitely recorded today class we will share with you okay you can see the recorded okay, session try to complete the practicals hmm any other questions please uh, yes sir if you use sts uh, spring see uh, it uh, is required to uh see actually let's later class we will use sts spring uh, Spring tools would write STS. Spring tools would you will use because in the Spring tools when you go for advanced level, I no need to create the projector. The Spring initializer is there, right? Spring I/O initializer. In the initializer, I will create the Spring project. I will make that folder into our application. But this is not right time to do that much process, right? There, it's not required to add the lib folder all that. Exactly, exactly. because he create the complete structure and he will give the structure to you just you can make that apply folder into your project right like your id right that's it okay that we will see slowly but what are the process i am following is a well and good right the process is going good right yes hmm? and tomorrow see today we configure the bean class right tomorrow i'll i'll remove this bean bean i'll say i'll use annotations every topic first i'll take the xml configuration then i remove this configuration tomorrow i'll use annotation like at the rate component annotation at the rate component is annotation is there if you make the at the rate component annotation i can remove this bean beans actually i can remove this bean that i'll tell you tomorrow class and next class auto wiring is there auto wiring i will make the first of all beans configuration file then i remove like annotation i, I remove like this configuration then i'll simply I'll make the annotation like at the rate auto wired like that we will move forward what tool you will cover in this course uh, what tool in the sense like uh, postman maven oh, see the as part this course we will go for the spring with maven uh, mostly within two days i will start the maven and the spring with gradle i will take the gradle also not only maven maven is xml configuration gradle is a json configuration right i will go for the spring with maven spring with gradle and the spring with like uh, xml configurations java configurations annotation based configuration and we will test the services using postman tool and we will we will do like push and pop operation using github tool so you will get the gradle tool maven tool github tool postman tool this all we will see okay sir hmm? yeah Okay, sir. Clear now. Yeah. Guys, that's all for today class. We'll meet in tomorrow. We'll continue. But before come tomorrow class, try to complete the form, like uh, practicals. And guys, try to complete the formalities, fee payments. Try to complete the fee payments. Mostly tomorrow the link will be changed. Hmm? Yeah. Complete the formalities. Because before leaving, enter the mail, your mobile numbers. Enter your mobile numbers. Hmm? 